Well, it's nice for us to uh, get back on the right track after a rough weekend with Mankato when we thought we'd let a couple get away. Um, but, uh, you know, it was good preparation, I think, for Ohio State to get some kids uh, puck uh, in the net and uh, get some work uh, in the offensive end with us uh, attacking the net and uh, driving hard to the net. So uh, overall, we're pleased with the outcome. I think we got some good work, and a lot of our younger kids got a couple more, uh, you know, uh, tough games under their belt at the college level, and uh, that experience, uh, as much as we can get, is good for our younger kids. We want to be aggressive. We want to attack the net more so than we've been able to do in the past, and I think uh, the excess shots have been a byproduct of that. It's just us being more aggressive offensively. I think just our... Uh, stick to it in this. I, I, that's a tough game to play. Those were both tough games to play where you're kind of uh, expected to win. Our kids in that program hasn't been in that situation too often and uh, you know sometimes the longer it goes you kind of grip your stick. I thought uh, today uh, that there was never any panic that we continue just to work hard knowing the good things was going to happen to us if we uh, stuck with the plan and just uh, continue to be aggressive and attacking and uh, that's what happened. We're still blue collar. Though we have some more skill and we have some more talent, I don't think the ground roots of last year and uh, has changed as far as the fact that uh, you know we're not going to win a lot of games just on talent alone. We've got to outwork people still. We still have to uh, be aggressive and uh, just attack, attack, attack. And uh, you know, so I, I was happy with that. I think that that's one of our strengths, and I think we'll always be blue collar. That's just the, the way that uh, I've coached. I think we're going to need to still firm up some things uh, defensively, some of our decision makings, and, and simplify some uh, of our game in certain areas um, to going into uh, next weekend. But I think, from a standpoint of uh, it being more wide open game and having a little more room, um, I, I look forward to that next weekend. We're still growing. We're still forming some of the roles. We're still, uh, you know, trying to develop chemistry within some of our lines and our D pairs, and uh, we're still trying to make our younger kids. Uh, better and um, th that's where I see us that's where we're at we still have a long ways to go with this year and we still have a lot of room to grow um, in a lot of areas but uh, we're off to a good start and we're winning games we're supposed to and uh, look forward to challenging ourselves within the, the rest of this first half as a whole, our younger kids continue to develop. We're getting contributions from all of them, and uh, we're excited about that. Uh, as far as a little note, uh, Fellner leaves to represent uh, Germany in a, a world event. Um, if uh, Germany wins that event, uh, they qualify for the Olympics next year. So we're excited about that for Susie. Going to miss her, but uh, one opportunity and what a little feather in the hat of our program if uh, you know she leads that team as captain and and helps them get into the Olympics. And uh, same for uh, Jord is going to represent Norway in the uh, world event here in the next week too. So uh, though many people haven't seen her compete yet, uh, I got to tell you, she's very athletic, she's very talented, and uh, we look forward to her representing her country as well.